Kuala Lumpur, population 1.6 million, forefront of the multiracial country called Malaysia where locals and foreigners try their luck in the so-called melting pot of society. Widely considered as an alpha world city, it is known to be an important node in the global economic system. For thousands of years, people have immigrated to this peninsula seeking their fortune in the land of the internal summer. So why are there still those of them who are barely scrapping by? The unseen struggles of the parias, unwanted, unwelcome, the beaten and the damned. These are their memoirs. These nomads and urban drifters live lives while strapped for cash and down on their luck. They rely solely on the benevolence of others to bestow upon them some form of mercy, be it food or money. A drive around the prominent landmarks in the city like the Petronas Twin Towers, Cal Tower and luxurious shopping malls like Pavilion, Mirror, the nation's progress towards a successful first world country. But behind those bright lights, lying underneath the shadows shaped by those illustrious 21st century developments, are the homeless. There are no accurate figures on the number of homeless people in the city due to few NGOs being aware of their existence. However, from 1997 to 2009, the rate of population living below the poverty line has decreased. Even so, the idea is to be able to eradicate poverty before we can declare ourselves as a developed nation. Let us traverse onto the chronicles of the unfortunate ones. Nama aku Nazrul, umur 24. Masa aku PJ ni ya Medan. Nazrul is an ex-homeless from the Felda community. Addiction to illegal substances was the reason why he became a vagrant. He shared with us the path he took that led him to the regret he feels today. Dia kawan ah. Kawan dengan kawan dengan tempat kita membesar awak kenal. Tentu ah sebab aku daripada Felda kan. Kalau Felda ni tak tahu mungkin orang tak tahu ke tahu ke kan. Nah lagi teruk ah dekat Felda ni kenal. Apa yang cua. Tak kecil kita dah tentu kan. So lama macam lama macam besar kan. dia buat lagi besar lagi besar cuci di masjid and kalau panas sana pergi berenang dalam kolam masjid kena lari kena kejar dengan pak imam bogi-bogi lu kan ha itu kecil tau lepas tu dia makin besar makin besar nah cik motor macam tu kan lepas tu besar lagi ah dan besar lagi dapat lagi satu benda lagi dapat 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 ah sampailah nyot fikir tengok member aku yang sekarang lepak kan macam mereka dah cerita pasal oh, ada simpanan, mereka dah ada aset sendiri kan Tapi aku tak ada kan Benda tu yang buat aku rushing gila lah nak kerja sekarang Tu lah Ini sekarang dah clean habis ke ni? Clean habis, kau letak lah 3-4G ke offset ke once ke Tak ada kan, tolak tak It's been 3 months since Nasrul took any drugs He is now working at a pawn shop called Buy, Sell and Trade in Petaling Jaya But before we ended the interview, we asked him What will you change? If you can go back in time Kalau dapat balik Kalau dapat balik pula kan Aku fikir kalau lah Ini kan Ikut cakap mak aku Belajar aku betul Aku tak bercampur dengan budak-budak pelik-pelik ni kan Aku tak fikir seronok yang akan jadi 20 Aku masa umur aku 20 tahun Tak macam ni kot Kalau aku fikir masa depan Aku fikir Umur 30 Apa yang aku nak kena ada kan Aku tak nak susahkan mak aku umur 30 Aku dah boleh lah sekarang ni Tapi selaknya tak terfikir Masa tu, fikir seronok This sharply dressed, clean looking man of the streets is called Johnny Gan 
Now Johnny G is a busker or a street musician who supports himself in his post-retirement days by playing his saxophone to earn money and entertain the travelers and tourists. To the naked eye, Johnny G seems to be a very jovial person despite what life has put him through. But as the saying goes, never judge a book by its cover. Okay. How long have you been playing the saxophone? Uh, before Mantega. Before Mantega? Yeah, before Mantega. 1953 or 1953? Yeah. You stay nearby? No, no Suraman. Suraman. So you travel? Ah, yeah, yeah. How do you travel? Bus? By bus. By bus. You have a house in Suraman there? No. Then? Lumpong. <laughs> Five foot there? <laughs> you stay in the street? Five foot there. <laughs> oh my god. But I'm a beggar. <laughs> well, you're very well dressed. High here. class beggar. Ah. <laughs> High class beggar. It's good to see you are so full of positivity. I can so see positive. that. So positive. I can ah. see that. that. You try and you don't get this get you down. You know? This is. Maybe you, you fool by me. You fool by me. Yeah. This is my outside look only. My inside is very sad. I tell you. Mm -hmm. A lot of time. But now, Sadama, I think of commit suicide. Oh my God. Yeah, sure. Sure.